it was guys so last night i didn't get to see howling ends in theaters it was pretty awesome getting that theater experience since you know last year i didn't get to see howling kills just for the fact because my dog was sick at the time and that was the last horror film that made him watch too but yeah and i really want to see this one in theaters to get that theater experience since this is supposedly going to be the last howling film and have you seen the ending to it uh, maybe uh, maybe i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> there will be spoilers on this video so watch at your own risk this is basically my thoughts of how it ends so let's talk about the one non-spoiler thing that i can talk about in this video and it's basically the soundtrack Oh my god, that soundtrack's awesome. I mean, of course, John Carpenter's son's gonna do an awesome job because they did an awesome job on Halloween 2018 and Kills. So, yeah. And I'm really considering pre-ordering the Screen Factory vinyl soundtrack for this because, man, it's pretty awesome. And plus, I'm gonna have to pre-order because the way Screen Factory's doing with the regular orders and basically their sale orders, they're not really taking prior order it the orders the shipping thing they're having a poorly shipment problem which there will be a video on that when i get my october order let's get into the spoilers so watch at your own risk it's fair warning so they basically copied the original opening credit scene or themed or intro whatever to the original halloween but i will say this the the pumpkin part was different it was new and it was pretty awesome. And yes, you got to have a Halloween film with Sean Carpenter's original Halloween theme. But still, they copied it. They copied it, man. Now let's talk about what else they copied. Now, I can't I can't remember what Michael Myers was. But it's basically the Dr. Death scene where he basically gets Michael Myers back to health or whatever. I don't know if that's four, five, or... The Curse of Michael Myers, that's basically six. I can't remember which Halloween it is where Dr. Depp does that. They basically copied that one. Now, let's talk about another thing they copied from another movie. is basically the Jason Goes to Hell thing. You know, when Jason goes to hell, the demon of Jason basically body snatched other people that do his killing for him since his body's no longer there. Well, Michael Myers is still here. Is this... They kind of copy that aspect of it's other people doing his dirty work. And it's basically this Corey guy who basically has a bad accident. And this is an accident. Basically, it's a bad break. Was cleared of all the charges for accidentally killing their kid, this kid, because he was locked in a closet, was trying to get out, kicked it open. He fell down three stories and basically gets killed. And I gotta say, that crunch sound, that, that kill scene right there was pretty awesome in my opinion. When he basically was cleared of all the charges and the town is basically attacking him. And not to mention his mother is attacking him daily too. Which, I will say this, they probably copy Psycho too with that. I'm just realizing that they probably copy Psycho too with that because... It was more of the mother making him go mad. Now let's talk about the other thing. The relationship between Corey and Lori Strode's granddaughter. Creepy, weird, and pathetic. Didn't seem real. Like, wow. Moving on. <laughs> now this next one. Probably one of the biggest flaws of this movie. Michael Myers is not really in this movie. He's not. Uh, he's in a couple of scenes in until the final battle, which I guess that's okay. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, like the last Halloween, we really didn't get much of Laurie Strode, and now this one, we don't really get much of Michael Myers. Uh, yeah. Second one. It's a continuation to this one. He he's too weak. I mean, literally. Corey can overtake Michael Myers and steal his mask. Yeah. When I saw that scene, I was like, uh, at first it was awesome, and then like it hit me right after. Like, wait, they just did that. I'm like, 
it was cool at first, but after realizing what just happened, they did that. How? <laughs> like, come on, man. You have four years to heal up, and, you, and he's this weak. Yeah. And let's talk about this other one, too. He doesn't really kill that much people in this movie. Probably like three, maybe four. I um, don't really know. You do notice the part that where he's really weak and he gets this like adrenaline power, whatever, after killing somebody and bringing him back to his former glory type of thing. You can't see that in this movie with that. I thought that was pretty cool, but they make him that weak and Corey takes his mask. Like, come on. What else? Uh, well, probably the final fight scene. I mean, that was pretty cool. But the fact that, like, the, the stuff that he was done to by Laurie Strode, and if you look at from, I don't know, the previous Michael Myers movies, like, two all the way up, how did this kill him? And then the whole ending part, which I'm not going to ruin that part for anybody that actually does the job which I thought that was pretty cool I will admit the ending for this movie was pretty awesome now overall thoughts on the movie besides all of that crap that happened the movie was actually pretty good in my opinion I mean um, probably the relationship between you know Lori Street's granddaughter and Corey was kind of creepy weird and pathetic and the whole thing about <laughs> Michael Myers being that freaking weak but then again you know him being that weak and giving his power back while killing that first victim in the movie, basically giving that power back. That was kind of like a good build up right there. Okay. And the final showdown. Yeah, that was pretty cool too. I did enjoy it. I would definitely watch it again. I probably will watch it again on Peacock probably in the next couple of weeks. Probably on Halloween maybe. I don't know. So, yeah. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked this video. Please like it. Please subscribe. Check the Twitter page. And have an awesome day, guys.